Hello. I hope this works. <laughs> uh, hello. I am Jen. Um, I'm going to turn the... See, as you can see, this was highly planned. Um, I am um, currently working uh, full time in the uh, UK independent comic scene uh, as a sole creator of comics and also as an artist for comic writers. Um, can I just, before I do anything else, apologise? Um, if you hear a budgie, you might be able to see behind me there um, that I have a studio buddy. So if he starts making noise, I do apologise. Um, but yeah, the reason this is a thing is because I've been hearing a lot of talk about the dreaded money thing. And um, seeing as I'm going to be part of a panel um, at the very first comic summit uh, about the subject next month, um, I thought it'd be a great idea to just have a chat about it now a little bit on the internet. Nothing bad has ever come of that, has it? Nah. Uh, I'll try to keep this like short and focused. Um, this isn't an edited video, as you might already be able to tell. Um, I have some notes I'm looking at on the laptop here. Um, I just literally turned the camera on and um, here we are, which is why this is very awkward. I'm really sorry about that. Um, but I just briefly want to have a chat about how I survive on um, making comics independently in the UK. Um, but basically that means that I don't currently have a publisher and I also don't currently have an agent. So uh, I work pretty much completely on my own in this studio. Uh, or I work with uh, with writers. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to briefly go over um, the different platforms I've had experience with. So for example, uh, Patreon, Twitter, Mastodon, uh, Etsy, Topastic, uh, Twitch, that's a good one, uh, Facebook, less good, uh, Instagram, a fucking mystery, and so on. Uh, I'll, um, I'll tell you how much I earn, because that's the point of this, uh, how much I charge per page, how I deal with invoices, contracts and things. This is just the business talk, really. Um, and if that can help anyone, that, then that's awesome. And finally, at the very end, is when I'll uh, get to be opinionated. So um, hopefully that would, you know, my opinions might help someone who is thinking about getting into comics or someone who is in comics or whatever. Um, just keep in mind that whenever I criticise um, comics or the comic industry, um, you know, I'm doing it from a place of love because I, I love this. I, I love this scene. I love the community. And um, I wouldn't I wouldn't even be sitting here with a now cold cup of coffee um, rambling into a, a, a camera um, if I didn't give a shit, you know? So um, anyway, uh, all of that is just going to be from my perspective and uh, it's all pulling from my own experiences and everything. So please keep that in mind. Um, this is also the reason why I'm so excited to go to, to the panels and everything at the Comic Summit next month because um, I get to talk to other professionals who are doing this and find out how everyone's doing in our weird, weird little community. <laughs> so anyway, let's uh, let's just go through it. Let's just say like how how I make my living for now. So. I've been in the industry for around um, eight years and um, it was only about four or three years ago that I actually became um, a full-time um, comics person, I guess, uh, a comicatrix, <laughs> as I've been saying now, just for the lols. Um, and up until that point, I had um, full-time or part-time um, normal jobs 
to like supplement my income. I then worked on over to um, illustration jobs, which generally speaking pay a lot better than comics, a lot better. Um, and it was only through like years of working slowly, building up a portfolio, basically showing that I'm kind of all right at my job, I hope, and all that kind of stuff, that slowly I started being able to sift out the other part-time jobs and things and go full-time into um, indie comics. So that's how I make now the, I would say, 80% or 90% of my income is indie comics now. Um, and, uh, you know, sometimes I still take on um, illustration jobs as a break from comics because I do need breaks from comics and uh, doing single illustrations is a really nice way to do that. Um, and uh, the reason I need little breaks is because uh, I work on about six comic books at the same time right now. Uh, I do all the art myself. So, um, hold on. So that is basically from first sketch to finished painting, um, like that, for example. I'll scan it in. I'll uh, sometimes do the lettering as well. Um, although I don't think that, like, I think I do passable lettering. I don't think I'm nearly as good as other letterers, but I do get commissioned for it, so that might mean something. Um, but yes, this this does mean that um, a lot of writers, when they come and commission me, they sort of get the whole package, if that makes sense, in 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 one gen, um, which I think helps me as well when I charge, because uh, they can see that actually um, I am really cheap <laughs> for what they get. <laughs> um, so along with juggling um, six books, I'm also doing comic conventions where I'll go out and obviously um, sell my work. So I'll get some money in and I'll get to talk to people and I get to have my work int introduced to other people who might not otherwise see it. So it's highly valuable and I should just ramble on about comic cons at some point. Um, if anyone is ever in even interested in this, I mean, I don't know. Um, but anyway, let's stay on topic. So um, I work every day of the week, that's standard. Uh, I will take breaks or I will take a day off if I feel like I need it, but I don't have a set day off or anything. I will work every day unless um, I feel like my mind or body cannot cope and I need to just walk off for a little bit. I accept that now and I think it's really, really important because um, otherwise if you don't accept that, you can have burnouts and worse. Uh, which, you know, again, I can have a chat about at some point because I've been there and it's, I don't recommend it. Um, I also obviously don't have holidays. Um, I also don't have sick pay or anything like that. So if I am ill, um, all money stops. So these are the, the, um, the realities. Uh, I also, um, depending on schedule, I would need to have about three pages uh, so these are like from scratch three pages done per week um, again depends completely on schedule I might get something in where they want more and I have had in the past um, <laughs> god it feels bad saying it now uh, I have had um, months where I've had to finish uh, a page or more per day and that is I know <laughs> it's not good that is way too much work um, way too much so uh, to summarize um, in a month I will get paid in small chunks so uh, it will come in like every other day pretty much from different sources because I'm working on remember so many different books at the same time I don't have one client I have like 10 and um, I also don't have like one single stable paycheck at the very end like you know normal jobs do and so the only the only like stable i would say income i have would be oh sorry uh, would be the uh, the patreon payout that i get at every uh, at the beginning of every month but again that depends on if i make something for my patreon which is also paid per page again i'll go in you know and talk about all that stuff at some point uh, i just realized this is actually taking a lot longer than i thought it would um, so, um, I will have that Patreon thing at the very beginning and then for the rest of the month, there will be every other day trickles of, of, of invoices being paid 
four pages just coming in. So um, unless I also have a month where I have maybe a comic convention, then I'll have like an injection of cash from that. Or I have um, an injection of cash from my Twitch, my creative Twitch. Uh, or I maybe I have like a Kickstarter or an art commission, something like that. Then I'll get like a little bit more. So it all depends on what I've got going on that month. Um, that's actually what I think is so exciting about working for yourself as well, is that you you make your own schedule in this way. So I could choose to open up my commissions and I could choose to like take on more work if I wanted to. I mean, I'm not gonna because I know what's happened in the past when I take on too much. But like I have the options here to do all that and I can rejig my schedule how I want. That's the really good thing about it. The bad thing is that nothing's set. So you work uh, I work at least per week, so I, I will see how much I get per week and then I'll sort of total it up at the end of the month. So there is no real proper stability ever uh, when you're doing this. And I can see how that could be really, really stressful for a lot of people. Um, so um, that's that's really something that has to be managed, the, the, the stress levels of working in comics. Uh, again, that's something that I think needs to be talked about Actually, I think that's something that is talked about a lot, but I think we should talk about more, more and more. So, um, yeah, so uh, most of my comic invoices will be for about 50 quid a pop. And uh, that is the, re the reason they are uh, like that is because working in the indie scene, uh, I will be working with writers who are equally poor um, and uh, they have to sometimes or a lot of the time pay out of their own pocket. And um, unless they like get a loan or do a Kickstarter or do or just try to raise the money somehow, um, they can't afford to hire an artist to do uh, a whole comic because it's a lot of money uh, for a writer to just you know fork out like that. It just doesn't work like that. So the way that I found is the most effective way to make sure that comics keep happening. Um, and that the artist and the writer are both kept as safe as possible is that you do everything not per comic but per page. Um, so I will, as a standard now, and I've learned this the hard way, I will always have an invoice for um, the page before it starts, half up front at least, and then I will not start drawing until that invoice is paid. I will, my pen will not touch the paper unless I get paid um, for my own sanity and my own health that is what happens and then um, I will be in constant communication with the writer and we'll just do the page finish it up have it approved and then they pay the final bit and that's how it works for me and that's how I found that it you know it's kind of keeps this relationship really nice and good and uh, not as stressful um, I don't know, that might not work for everyone else, but that's how I find that that's how I've been able to do this for as long as I have. Oh my God, four, four years full time. Wow, I'm such a veteran. Um, yeah, anyway, so it's not like a case of uh, I get a, a script in and then I disappear um, for like six months and then I come back and I hold like a whole comic book and I give it to the writer and I go, here you go. It, it, no, it doesn't work like that. Um, it will be per page and um, I will show each page and then we will have it each page approved, finished, paid for, onto the next page. It's like all in just little bits like this. Um, and that is, has been the most stable way to keep things moving along. Uh, and also means that writers can actually afford <laughs> to to have a comic done, you know? because uh, it's it's really difficult um and wow i just realized this has taken a lot of time uh and i've just like scratched the surface and this this com oh this coffee is cold it's about to call it a comic um i was gonna go through like how all the different platforms work uh like patreon and the newly discovered for me at least twitch which is amazing um and less amazing stuff like Tapastic 
and Instagram, which is like fucking sorcery at this point. Nobody knows how Instagram works. And we're all going mad trying to figure out how that fuckery works. Yeah, I was going to start going through all of that. Um, but... I need to get back to work and I realize this is taking way too long so I'm gonna have to do like a separate video on that um, if like people are interested and um, yeah the, the bottom line is that the UK indie scene is just buzzing like we're buzzing come to the comic cons just come and look at the like the indie section it's so good and it's just so much passion there and we're all just little weirdos and it's great um, I hope that that will just continue and get better and better because I've noticed in like the a short time that I've been here, uh, it's just gone, just skyrocketed in terms of people being interested. It's amazing. And if we can just help each other, like lift each other up and help each other, that'll be great. And if, if it means also us talking about the boring bits, which is finances, I don't want to talk about finances, it sucks, but like we need to talk about it. Um, but you know, if we can just do videos about invoices and contracts and all that stuff um, to help each other out then let's do it like I think as long as at the end of the day comics happen and we get more comics out of it then all of this is worth it isn't it and Ruffles has been quiet all this time I'm so proud of him <laughs> I'm gonna go back to work now uh, yeah um, if you stay this whole time well done thanks <laughs> Uh, I'll uh, I'll do another video at some point about this because yeah I haven't even gotten to all these specifics yet I just started talking about um, like just the scheduling Jesus Christ anyway yeah I'll do that in a bit um, I just gotta work now and then I'll get back to that so until next time.